I'm here to show you a quick FPE automation tech tip video on how to create a Bayer project with IX developer in conjunction with SysMax Studio to an NX102 PLC, how to export those variables and get the two devices talking. So I'm here in SysMax Studio. I'm currently using version 1.44. And I wanted to show you a quick video of all the variables I have and how to get them into IX developer to develop an HMI screen. So I have a variety of variables here, bools, integers, strings. I even have my own uh, structure that I made. I wanted to show that I could do a variety of data types in here. So uh, it's important to note that only global variables can be uh, exported into an HMI development. And furthermore, you're going to want uh, the only variables that can communicate to the PLC are those that are selected as publish. If you have do not publish, uh, the HMI will not be able to see them or read or write to those uh, variables. So please make sure you have the proper variables uh, established as publish. So um, what I'm going to do first is create a IX developer project. Uh, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to use an X210 panel. I'm going to select Omron Ethernet IP. Going to hit finish. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go to tools, export variables, CX designer. And now what that'll do is copy everything to a clipboard. And what you're then going to do is just launch any text editor, notepad, notepad plus plus. You just hit paste control V. Then you don't have to do any massage to the file after that. You could just hit save as. And let me save that to my desktop and call it variable export list. I'm going to minimize that and I go back to my IX developer project here. And importantly, you want to set up the communication settings. So I go to controllers. I'll call that Omron NX. And I go to settings and here you're going to want to change that to NJ. And here you're going to want to change the IP address to match that of your controller. And to verify what your IP address is of your controller, you go back to SysMax Studio, Ethernet IP settings. I verify that as 1.1, which is what I have in my default settings here. And then I hit OK. Now here is where you're going to want to go to your tags. You go to import to the controller you just set, uh, set up for your project. And you're going to leave this under Omron SysMac import format. Point it to the file you just saved. And you can hit import. And I'll give you a little preview here. Uh, in my example, I have a whole host of variables. Um, I'm going to ignore the bringing in of these particular structures because I would just create a whole list of variables I don't really need for my project. Those are for my Ether and IP devices, but I am going to leave everything else. So I hit OK. And there you see all the variable names as listed in SysMax Studio. Uh, there's the data type and what you are going to reference them in IX Developer. Now, just to take it a step further, I'm going to just create a quick little screen showing that this is working. I'm going to toggle the connected tag here. And I'll put in a couple other devices. Okay, and I'm just going to run the project right from my computer here um, since I don't have an HMI to download to, but this will prove that the communication is, is working. And while this is compiling and building, I'm going to go online with my project. And 
and I should have a virtual screen come up here any moment. And here I can already tell that it's communicating because it's, it's displaying the correct variable names. So I can edit this. And I can see it reflect here. Then I can also see the bits changing. There you go. Thank you very much.